Now, looking back on last night's tragedy, the area where Roberts died saw five inches of rain in a matter of hours. And a flash flood warning had been in effect when his car was swept into the water. Color 10's Francis Lynn was at the scene this morning on Cabin Creek Road when crews were pulling that car out of the water. It was a gloomy, rainy morning as crews spent hours clearing a path to pull out the deputy's car. An overwhelming sense of doom is the best way I can describe it. Aaron Mallard lives close to where Deputy Aaron Roberts died. My husband and I both just wanted to help, didn't know there wasn't a thing we could do. Um, but pray, so that's what we did. She's lived in the area her whole life and tells me this isn't the first time someone's car has been swept off the bridge. This is probably the fifth time over since 1993. These cabins have been here since uh, 1969, and 1993 was the first time we saw that, um, and it's happened five or six times since then. Neighbors around the area told me it's pitch black out here at nighttime. There are absolutely no lights, so it's extremely easy to underestimate the water levels on this bridge, especially if you're unfamiliar with this road. Most people who live around here know if it's raining and has rained that hard, don't come down this road. They go. There's lots of other ways to go around this, but um, if you don't know this area, you wouldn't know that the road dips there really if you're if you're not from around here you can literally be driving through an area and then come back just a short time later and that that area which was once totally clear and passable is now uh, completely flooded with no way to, to get across larry woods with the office of emergency management advises everyone to take extra precautions on the road during a flash flood warning especially out in the county and the rural areas where there really are no you know, street lights no lights to light the area other than just the headlights of your car you can literally pop over a hill and be in the water before you even you even know it in fair grove francis lynn ozarks first Friday's weather broke a 70-year record in Springfield. On September 7, 1948, Springfield got 2.51 inches, but yesterday we got a total of 2.55.